so really quick here's my battery charger I got this 12 volt battery here that was down to about 8 it's already up to 10 this is just a quick ah one of the magnets are coming loose ah, I better shut it down but I needed to charge the battery up quick and man, nothing like the Bendini circuit it's working really well all right, but let me turn it off But I'm charging it up because I've got this I've got this killer motor right here that I got out of an old scooter one of these one of these guys and um, I'm thinking about well I'm gonna fix it up see if I can get it to work but I was actually thinking about hooking it to my bike as a um, power assist you know it's only a 12 volt battery and I and it doesn't you know, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but anyway, the Bendini circuit is great, especially this um, this one from um, the Daft Man, because it has the charging battery hooked, you know, set off on it, and it works really, really well. Like I said, this thing was at 8. I charged it up for a little while, let it sit, and it was already up almost to 11, and that was after letting it sit, and I was only, it only charged for about 20 minutes. But one of the um, one of the uh, one of the magnets there is getting loose. I can hear it clicking because it started to really pick up speed. So just wanted to show you my little battery charger. I know people say, well, "Why don't you just go to the store and buy a battery charger?" Well, because I'd rather do it myself. And um, it's actually not charging off of another battery. It's charging off of a um, power supply, and I don't think. I'm pretty sure you can't just hook a power supply to a 12 volt battery and expect to charge it up. I don't think it works that way. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Alright. And again, I haven't abandoned this guy. Here's the, um, the setup here with the four arms. I'm still going to make the spiral tighter. And, um, anyway, it's I needed to get away from it for a while so I had this guy I pulled this guy out and it's nice I, I checked it and it works I think the circuitry may be bad on it I'm not sure it was one of those uh, it's free on the side of the road deals so nothing like free man every time I see an old fan at a tag sale or an old motor I grab it let me see I think one of the one of the magnets on here was pulling loose and I'm not sure which one it was maybe that one there because it started making that clicking sound let's fire it up again and it fires right up And like I said in my last video, I don't even mess with this pot. <laughs> you know, I'm not even really sure. And and with the battery off, I, you know, I didn't realize this, but when you are actually charging a battery with this circuit, um, the trans the uh, the resistor doesn't get hot. The transistor never got hot, but when I just had it running, my spiral guy, everything was getting hot because there was no place for the radiant energy to go it was you know can't obviously go back into my power supply over here so now that it's got some place to go and i think i'm going to try also hooking up my little newman motor over here now i can't really see it because that thing gets a hell of a spark see if i can't use that to charge it up but i figure within an hour or so this guy will be charged and again i do let it sit to make sure that I'm not getting some kind of false reading. And I burned out my old faithful um, analog meter. So now I'm forced to use a digital, which I'm not fond of because I know analog is much more reliable. Anyway, this is an old this is an old door. It was supposed to be a spare door for one of our cabinets. We were looking at different stains and stuff. Ooh, if the wife finds out, 
There it goes, doing that clicking thing again. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be the magnet. All right, let me, let me shut it down, take it off, and fix it up. All right. Just wanted to give you guys a, an eyeball on what I'm doing over here on a Sunday afternoon. Ciao. There it goes. Got a nice little hum to it. Oh, I just need some tightening. I uh, put another strip of uh, taper, um, fabric taper, or nylon tape around the outside. And you know, I've got a, I have a strip on there so I can tack it. But um, <laughs> I think the battery's dead in my tackle meter, so I really don't know how fast it's going. But that seems seems to be at its top speed right now. Nice little hum to it. Again, from Mr. Daft Man. Thank you very much. Little instant battery charger. A lot more fun than going to the store. And, and actually, if you think about it, what I paid for the magnets, what I paid for the wire, what I paid for the components, what I paid for the power supply, I probably could have bought a battery charger. <laughs> But this is much more fun. The overhead shot of the situation. And again, it's all for this guy here. And it does work. Alright, that's it.